Today I'm taking a look at the new Concept plugin from Krotos. It's their first synth and they've taken a different approach than most by putting the modulation as the primary focus right in the center of the interface. Obviously all synths have got modulation and it's a fundamental part of sound design, even uh, just a symbol envelope on a filter or amplitude. But more complex sounds use a fair bit of modulation and this is a great way of learning the ropes. It makes it so easy to understand what's going on without any menu diving whatsoever. So to modulate, say the cutoff with LFO1, Drop it on and there we go, it's modulating it. And we can see it's LFO1 because it's in red and modulation root in one is red. Now it doesn't have to be an LFO. Be an envelope. Could be an audio input. It could be an XY capture so you can capture this. You can capture all your movements on that. And of course it can be the mod wheel as well. So you can, so you can change the response to the mod wheel. As you go up, it comes down, which is a bit weird and pretty unique. So if we play a note, for example, you know, it's down there on the mod wheel, it's going all the way up, but the modulation's going up and down. Let's bring it down to here. Take the resonance off. So that's instantly, you know, as soon as a, as soon as a pickup start playing with it, pretty unique feature. And you can see what the mod wheel's doing on this red channel in there, in the, in the center top. So we've got four modulation routes, and they can all be envelope, audio input, XY capture, or mod wheel. So let's modulate the resonance with LFO2. And then we can see that's being modulated there. If we go into LFO2, tweak the parameters, we can see how much the resonance is being modulated by using this button here. And you can see it changes as we change either the knob or the interface in the, in the center. So it's a fantastic way of seeing what's happening in a patch and also a really good way of learning how to program a synth. So let's just load something up. Big fat bass, first one. And we can see the resonance is being modulated by the LFO. So if I play a note, we should hear the resonance going in and out. So you can hear that, you can hear that the FM depth is changing as well. So if we go into this and we just stop listening to the FM depth, where's that? Oscillator one FM depth, let's take that off for now. We can hear the ring modulation depth as well. Let's take that off. And let's take the delay feedback off as well. And maybe let's take all these um, off the envelope. On a normal synth to try and figure out what's going on there, that could take you ages. And it's really simple as on this, isn't it? Bodacious bass. <laughs> We can hear some sort of wow, 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 wow sounds, can't we? Straight away you can see what's doing it. The FM depth on both the oscillators. And then modulated by the green channel. So let's go into the green channel. Let's take those off. So not only can you instantly find out what's happening, but you can instantly find out the effect of changing the FM depth. So. So super simple, it's it's ridiculous really. So if we get let's let's look at um an effect maybe. Artist presets. Richard Devani seems to do sort of mad stuff. Uh let's have a look at animation pad, see what that is. Actually there's not that much going on here. Not that much going on, but really nice sound, isn't it? But we can see the XY captures doing the FM depth. So let's have a look at this F XY capture. Let's 
and let's just speed it up. Increase the sustain so we can hear the note held on. And all of a sudden we've got something completely mental, haven't we? So we've got the FM ratio going on with the uh, oscillator 2 on the green XY capture. And this, the XY capture really gives you sort of a really, really random feel. Because you can squiggle this around. Let's just record something with it. Capture. Just do this. Da -da 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 -da. Done. So we can play that back at different speeds. It's going back and forth. We can have it just going forward. And we're going forward, and it sort of glitches back to the original place, which is a really nice effect as well. So that's sort of how it works. It's got everything that you see that's got one of these rings around it. You can modulate, so modulate the, the blend, drop it into the XY capture. There we go. And this means you can get really nice, gorgeous, evolving tones. So let's go back to the intro track. So the intro track is basically one, two, three, four tracks of the concept. And each of them has got a slight bit of modulation on. And I've used a more subtle approach than other demos I've seen of this um, to show that it doesn't just do really punchy sort of mad modulation like that Richard Devine one. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to show how modulation can be used to add, add texture to a sound as well which generally means you get more movement in a track, so you can generally use less parts to get that movement, making a less cluttered but fuller sounding track, which uh, are normally easier to mix and master and normally sound nicer, I think. Anyway, so let's have a listen to, to the track again. I love all that sort of glitchiness on that on that main line so let's have a look what's going on with the main line then shall we let's load in concept so this is a 27 inch high res max screen that i'm capturing here and we can make this as big as we want which is a nice touch so if you have a listen to that And all that sort of glitchiness is just changing the pre-delay on the reverb. As you change the pre-delay, a bit like an old delay pedal, you're getting a you're getting a change in frequencies. And as I said earlier, when the XY goes back to the to the start point and you get that weird little glitch which is nice obviously you don't have to have that you can have it going forward and backwards so it's smooth but i do like a little glitch myself And that's where you get most of the modulation on this. If I take that modulation off, let's just silence it. You can silence it, or if you press the X, you can delete it. But let's just silence it. Got a little bit of modulation on the cutoff from this envelope. Let's take that off as well. Nothing wrong with that at all, but it just feels a bit nicer, I think, with a with a little bit of mad modulation going on. Makes it a lot fuller sounding. Might 
I think this is a little much. We can just tone that down a little. And this is just one of the presets called Fifth Fantastic, is that? Um, and I've just tweaked it a little bit. Lovely. So just play that with the kick. There's a fair bit going on without overcomplicating things. So let's take a look now at the second track. So sort of a simple arpeggio, but again, you can hear there's a little bit of modulation in there. Let's load it up. And if we just play one of the notes. You can hear that it's this LFO changing the gain on oscillator two. That's bringing in that higher harmonic because this is an octave higher than oscillator one. So as we play it, Just a nice little bit of modulation. And again, just another really, really simple line coming up. So that one. You can see the LFO, this blue LFO is looking a bit weird there. That's because the depth of the LFO is being modulated by the envelope. So you can modulate the modulators as well. Which is a really nice touch. Let's just hold one of those on. So LFO2 is also being modulated and that's being modulated by LFO, whatever is that? Is that three? Well, LF, the blue channel anyway. And the flanger delay is being modulated by the XY capture, which just gives that sort of randomness. So just three lines. And you've got a really, really nice, rich sounding palette, I think. Uh, and finally, the bass. And with this, I'm modulating the gain of the compressor and the cutoff as well as the gain of oscillator two with the audio input and I've got the audio input set at the set as the kick. So let's just load in the kick and that. If he was having a bit of difficulty catching up with the graphics here as I'm uh, playing this and recording at the same time. So all together. And I'm not saying this is like a, an amazing, fantastic tune or anything, but I think it's a really nice way of just demonstrating how easy it is to sort of pick up a sound. Let's try another one. Let's look at factory preset, artist presets. Sonic Leaf Physics, is that? 
number three. Beautiful. I can hear that's an FM style sound. Let's take the FM off. Let's take the flanger off. Just the number of voices to one. Make it a bit easier to play. So we've got here is the flanger doing those sort of clicky clicky bits, I suppose. Tip them off again and have a listen to the the FM. But you can see there's very, very little. In fact, there's zero modulation at the minute because the only thing that's being modulated is the cutoff, and that's by the mod wheel. So let's play that. And it looks overly simple, that. But if you didn't have this in front of you, you might spend ages trying to work out why it sounded like it did. Try another. Really simple, you can see what's happening there. Mod wheels modulating the cutoff and the mix of the filter. And we've got a bit of FM. Let's go back to the initial patch. So the FM on this isn't like sort of standard FM where uh, you're modulating oscillator one with oscillator two. There's a separate sine oscillator in there. So you can get all those really mental sounds. Or more subtle ones. To nice soft ones. Really, really simple and really, really nice. Let's modulate. I don't know. Let's bring in a, the reverb. This is a convolution reverb as well, by the way. So straight away, we've got a really beautiful sound, haven't we? Let's modulate the cutoff with an envelope, shall we? Let's listen to an envelope. Cut off, drop it into here. And then let's modulate that sustain with this LFO. Take that and drop it onto there. You start getting into sort of weird modular style territory really, really easily. But again, the beauty is that you can see what's happening. Let's add an XY capture. Let's record something. A bit mad. There we go. And let's add that to the pre delay. Let's play something. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, let's slow that down. Or 
we'll speed it up. Let's modulate the speed with LFO 1. Let's slow that down. I know that's all sort of crazy nonsense. But I'm just showing how you can get crazy nonsense really easily. So I think this is a, a really, really nice way of sort of getting into modulation and understanding modulation, as well as being a really nice sounding synth. So I hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere. See you next time.